it was fairly dramatic to have those things happen to me. And the reason why I'm sharing the story is because it had such an impact on my life. Uh, it was a true, for the longest time, I, I just called them little nuggets that God gave us. Now, uh, after a, a recent meeting, I was shared with me, and she said, please steal it. It's a God wink, you know, in your life. Um, and so I, I had actually written the story about all of it, and I ultimately wrote a book, uh, just finished coming out uh, first of this year, called Get Your Affairs in Order. And... Um, being my name, since it's Jeff Smith, I, uh, I have my author uh, name and uh, website is jeffreyrogerssmith.com. Mm. And uh, it's just easier to um, to identify it that way. But I, I went through it. It's fairly short books, probably 110 pages or so, but uh, it gives the background that I've shared today and about 10 other stories. We had a went to the U.S. Open the day before, for the heart surgery and it was just a last minute idea of Cindy's to uh, let's go you know they're playing the finals and I was like honey that, there's no way we can ever get in to see the finals of the tennis of the US yeah. Open tennis you know they're in Flushing Meadows and uh, she said doesn't matter let's just try and you know that story that I share in the book is an incredible God story because it was actually um September 11th, 2005. So it's the exact four-year anniversary, and there were policemen at, uh, you know, within feet of each other. And there was no way we were going to buy a ticket from somebody or something. It was just not going to happen. And some different events unfolded that allowed us to watch the, the match. And it was fun to even share that, put that in the book as well. So, so in the book, there you said there's 10, about 10 stories, mm -hmm. which we got time if you want to share some of the, <laughs> some of the ones that you think you know, you'd like to share. Yeah, you know, the one that sticks out the most is that U.S. Open one. And I was so uh, against and don't want to be embarrassed by yeah. somebody saying you can't do something. And Cindy doesn't care, you know. She's like, I don't, I don't care, you know. And I said, Well, going up there, there looks like that's the gate, the front gate area. Just go, you know. The deal was open. There was a gentleman behind there, and um, and I stood back behind a little bit of a, a wall where they couldn't see me. And I said, uh, and I'm listening. And she said, um, So we'd like to have two tickets to that thing that's happening today. What do you have, like? some kind of a tennis tournament <laughs> and they laugh like you are and and he turns around to these other guys and says this is hilarious this lady wants two tickets to this this lady has been sold out for months yeah. and uh, he turns back around and there are two tickets sitting on the uh, the dash right in the area right in front of her and he said Who, whose are these and nobody answered and he said I'll sell you these for face value if you want they're 45 bucks a piece and I screamed, it's God, yeah. you know, it, it, just a hilarious answer for, for something like that. And uh, we got up to our seats. And if you're on a football field, we're basically on the 40 yard line, right in the middle. It's just an incredible place to sit. And, uh, and I just knew that God was probably going to take me <laughs> in this deal because he's given me my final wish of right. the finals at the U.S. Open. And uh, Andre Agassi and Roger Federer were playing. And uh, it was a time when Agassi was at the very end of his career and Federer was at the beginning. And uh, Agassi won one set and his back just wouldn't hold up and Federer wiped him up, you know, three to one. But... It was uh, it was a really neat experience to to watch that and to see again looking back on it, uh, God doing that for yeah. for Cindy and I. Yeah.